In this video, we'll go over the usage and creation of test plans in TestRail. Test plans are basically collections of test runs and make it easier for you to create multiple runs at once, which can be very useful for teams using multiple test suites or particularly large projects with thousands of cases. They can also be used to create multiple runs to test your software against different configurations or environments. If you are not familiar with test runs, we recommend watching the third video in our series, Test Runs and Results, before watching this video. To create a test plan, first go to the Test Runs and Results page, then click on the Add Test Plan button on the right sidebar. Here you have the option to add a name and a description to your test plan and link it to a milestone. When creating a test plan, in the top right, you will see a button for Add Test Run, or if you are in a project using test suites, Add Test Suite. With a new run added to the plan, you will see the options to select the included test cases, assign the run to a user, and add or update a description of this run. If you click the option to select cases, you will see the full section tree and be able to select entire sections or individual tests to include in this run. There are also several filters to choose from based on the data in your test case fields to help you select the tests to be included. You can also use the Configurations option to create multiple runs simultaneously for testing in different environments or any other testing variable. If you have a functionality you want to test in different browsers or operating systems, you could manually create individual test runs for this, or you can let TestRail create multiple test runs automatically based on the parameters you define. For this example, let's create configurations for different web browsers. First, click the Configurations button and then Add Group. Each group can define an environment or variable that you'll be testing with the different runs in your plan. This first group will be called Browsers. Next, we'll add configurations for the most commonly used browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge. With our configuration set up, we can check them all or use the check mark next to the group name to select them all and hit OK. As you can see, under the test run we added initially, you now have identical test runs, each based on the different configurations that were selected. Once you add the test plan, TestRail opens to the test plan overview page and shows the current progress of the entire plan, including the result status breakdown and metrics for each of the runs contained in the plan. Test plans also allow you to combine multiple configuration groups by editing the plan and adding another set of environment variables. This time, we will add a new group for operating system and set up configurations for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. With those new configurations saved, when we update the test plan, we'll now have many test runs for each combination of configurations we've selected and we can uncheck any of the runs that may not be valid combinations. Test plans are a great way to group related test runs. Each test plan comes with its overall statistics and metrics. It can be very helpful to use test plans in combination with milestones to better manage your testing efforts. Many customers use milestones to separate releases and use test plans to further group their test runs. Now you might wonder how you can identify a test plan in the Test Runs and Results tab. As you can see, the test plan is presented with a different icon, which indicates that the results are for multiple test runs rather than one. Okay, that is it for this video. If you want to learn more about TestRail's built-in reporting functionality, watch our next video in this series.